and welcome. I'm Irene McCurgan at the School of Nursing. I'm the Administrative Manager for the PhD in Nursing Science Program. And it's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Tara Foster, Assistant Professor of Nursing and a graduate of our PhD program. Welcome, Dr. Foster. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about your area of research and why you chose it? Mm -hmm. My area of research is pediatric palliative care, specifically related to children living with cancer or life-threatening illnesses. So I chose this area just because I've always had a passion for kids living with cancer and really wanted to do something where I could help decrease their suffering. Can you tell me a little bit about some of your current research projects and how a potential student might be able to work with you? Mm -hmm. So my current study relates to legacy making interventions for children with cancer. So the purpose of the study is to develop an intervention that may be helpful for these kids and to see what effects it might have on their suffering. So currently we have students that help with recruitment at the cancer clinic and they help with data collection, they administer surveys to the kids and their parents as well as help me do interviews. What kind of impact do you hope your research um, either will accomplish or perhaps it already has? We hope this study will really have an impact on children's suffering. So we have some quality of life instruments where we're looking at potential effects on physical, psychological, social, and spiritual dimensions. And what might be some challenging issues that um, a potential student might need to be aware of if they did choose your area of research? So pediatric palliative care is a very challenging area to work in. Um, specifically, the kids with cancer are a doubly vulnerable population. So just the feasibility of doing studies with children poses some extra challenges such as getting IRB approval and parent consent. Um, but specifically, this population lives with life-threatening illnesses, so there's challenges we work around just doing the study because kids are sick, they're in and out of the hospital for chemo and those kinds of things. But it's such a rewarding group to work with, it's definitely worth it. And what kind of career options might there be for someone in your area of uh, research? So soon after graduation, I think for most students interested in research, there would be the option to go into a position like I did as an assistant professor at a school, likely tenure track with a research focus and to really get your program of research started. So just getting publications out, getting grant applications in, getting some funding and, and getting your research started. I think down the road, after you become established and have an established track record of funding and publications and, and teaching and service, I think there would be opportunities for administrative type roles and leadership positions at hospitals. If there is such a thing, can you describe what a typical week might be like for you? <laughs> so my typical week currently involves recruiting at the cancer clinic. So I typically go over to the clinic and approach families and children to see if they might be interested to participate in our studies. And the rest of my time is typically spent writing publications, working on grant applications, also working with our students that help with data management, transcriptions, um, and of course meetings um, just with our research team and, and networking with people across the nation. And lastly, Dr. Foster, um, for someone looking at this video thinking about coming to Vanderbilt, uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about why you chose it and what makes our program unique to others across the country. Mm -hmm. So I chose this program because of the research-rich environment here at Vanderbilt. There's so many resources that helped support me during my doctoral program and my dissertation phase and to get my research up and going. So the staff and faculty over at the Medical Center and the Cancer Center are extremely supportive of my work, which is definitely key to running a study. And I also found expertise here in my specific program of research related to children with life-threatening illnesses. So just having those mentors as guides throughout the program was very instrumental in being successful. 
Well, thank you, Dr. Foster, for taking time out of your busy day. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.